ChatGPT Plus and Claude Pro, we bought and compared both plans so you don't have to. ChatGPT and Claude are two of the most popular and powerful AI models out there, often sparking debate as both come with their own strengths, unique features, and capabilities. Standing at $20 each, both ChatGPT and Claude offer plans designed for users who want more than just the regular experience. Both provide priority access during times of heavy traffic and offer enhanced usage of the AI models. In this video, we'll explore the features of ChatGPT Plus and Claude Pro so you can determine for yourself which of the two plans is the best fit. So, let's get right into it. Now, which models are available under each plan? By default, ChatGPT Plus uses the GPT-5 model. You can also use different modes within it. Auto, which automatically decides the best version to use. Instant, Thinking Mini, and the full thinking model of GPT-5. In addition, you can access the legacy models which are GPT-40 and O4 Mini, each with their own unique strengths and capabilities. On the other hand, Claude also offers multiple models that you can choose from using the model selector. You can go for Claude model, the smartest, fastest, and most capable model yet. You can also choose Claude Haiku for quick and concise answers answers or the Opus model which is one of the best options for brainstorming. Additionally, there are several other legacy models available, each with their own unique capabilities. Let's compare the message limits you can send to each model in their respective plans. The ChatGPT Plus plan offers a three-hour window in which you can send messages up to a certain limit. You can use legacy models like 4.0 with up to 100 messages in a week. GPT-5 temporarily has an increased limit of 160 messages per three-hour window, though standard access is typically 80 messages every three hours. After reaching that limit, your responses automatically switch to smaller models for which it has unlimited access. Like ChatGPT, Claude also limits how long you can use its models within a set time period. For Claude, the window is 5 hours, during which you can send up to 45 messages. After reaching that limit, Claude blocks you from using it further, and you need to wait before you can interact with that model again. This might make you wonder if the ChatGPT Plus plan is better because it has more messages, but here's the catch. There are other factors that might make you change your mind. But before that, here's a word from our sponsor, Outskill, the world's first AI-focused education platform. This weekend, they're hosting a free two-day live AI mastermind workshop running Saturday and Sunday, 10 a.m. to 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Normally priced at $395, it's free for my viewers as part of Outskill's Big Black Friday sale. Already attended by 10 million plus people globally, this highly rated workshop, 4.9 out of 5 on Trustpilot, is led by mentors from Microsoft, OpenAI, NVIDIA, Google, and more, the experts shaping today's AI landscape. In just 16 hours, you'll learn 10 plus AI tools, master AI in Excel sheets and presentations, build your own AI agents and workflows, and join a community of AI builders through Outskill's seamless learning dashboard. Attend both days to unlock $5,000 worth of bonuses, including the Prompt Bible, AI Monetization Roadmap, and a personalized AI toolkit. Seats are limited. Save your free spot now and join the WhatsApp community to stay updated. Click the link in the pinned comment or scan the QR code to grab your spot today. How much context window do you get with each plan? With ChatGPT+, Plus, you get a 32K context window, which is quite large and capable of handling complex tasks. However, the one truly leading the context game is Claude, offering an extended usage of its massive 200k context window, making Claude the better model for long-form content generation. This allows Claude to generate longer responses, process larger documents, and retain context across extended conversations, something ChatGPT models with their smaller context window are limited in doing. If you often work with large PDFs or research files, which AI plan actually handles uploads better? ChatGPT allows you to upload large files, up to 512 megabytes in size. This is especially useful for tasks like summarizing lengthy research papers or books. However, the main limitation is that file uploads are tied to the three-hour context window. You can upload up to 80 files within that window, which still gives you a major advantage over the free tier. The files you upload within your projects are also limited, which is up to 25 files per project.
object, each with the same maximum size. These uploaded files are intended to help ChatGPT better understand your project's context and provide more accurate, relevant responses. On the other hand, the Claude Pro plan isn't limited by a time window, but rather by how much you can upload per chat. Claude allows you to upload approximately 20 files per chat, with each file up to around 30 megabytes in size, which is significantly smaller compared to ChatGPT+. But here's the cool part. Unlike ChatGPT projects, Claude Projects offers unlimited file uploads, only limited by Claude's context window. While ChatGPT is unable to process the images within the PDF uploaded, Claude is fully capable of processing images within documents and responding accordingly, but only for PDFs under 100 pages. Whether it's analyzing photos or generating new ones, which AI gives you the upper hand? With ChatGPT+, you can upload up to 50 images per day, with each image limited to 20 megabytes in size. You can upload images to ask questions about them, extract text, or get insights related to whatever image you've uploaded. In Claude Pro, the same feature is limited to 20 images per chat, with each image not exceeding 30 megabytes in size. Claude's models are exceptionally powerful when it comes to analyzing image visuals and accurately extracting text from them. But here's where ChatGPT Plus has a clear advantage. Unlike Claude, which doesn't have an image generation model, ChatGPT's models can create realistic images from just a simple prompt. With the Plus plan, you can generate up to 50 images within the same three-hour window. Now you might be wondering if you can work with videos in your plans. While Anthropic does not have its own video generation model, the cool feature you get with the ChatGPT Plus plan is that it gives you limited access to their video generation model, Sora. You can use Sora to generate images or videos and select the aspect ratio of the video you want to create. The maximum resolution allowed for video generation is 720, but you can choose a lower resolution if you want faster generation. The maximum duration allowed is 5 seconds, beyond which you'll need a higher plan. You can simply provide a prompt and Sora will generate a video based on it. Another feature exclusive to ChatGPT in the Plus plan is the voice mode. You can use the voice mode in ChatGPT for up to one hour each day. This feature is highly intelligent. It picks up nonverbal cues such as your speaking speed and emotional tone, and it also offers screen sharing capability. You can choose from multiple available voices and select the one that suits you best. You can use it to learn, chat, or run mock interviews. Screen sharing is available only on mobile and you get a full chat transcript after each session. That brings us to our next feature, which is Deep Research. It is a feature supported by both Claude and ChatGPT. Basically, it conducts extensive research by searching through links and sublinks to find key details about the topic you specify. With ChatGPT+, you can perform up to 25 deep research sessions per month. You can give it any topic, and it asks you a set of questions to clarify what you're aiming for in your research. Once you answer those questions, it will begin the research process which can take anywhere from 5 to 45 minutes. During this time, it scans through numerous sources to extract the information you're looking for. The research took 11 minutes and used 20 sources and 130 searches to generate this report. And as you can see, it's a very in-depth report, uses proper citations, and provided links to all the sources it referenced. It's quite a detailed report, complete with a references section at the end, formatted in proper APA style. You can use the same features on the Claude application as well, offering similar capabilities capabilities, you can turn on research mode and then prompt Claude with the topic you want to explore. Similar to ChatGPT, it also asked clarification questions to better focus the research around your specific goal. Once you answered the questions, it began the research process. While this research also took some time, the key difference between ChatGPT and Claude's pro plan is that, unlike ChatGPT, which has specific limits, Claude's plan does not have a separate quota for research. Instead, it uses the general tool usage limits. Whatever tools it uses, uses to perform the research task are counted toward the overall usage, rather than being part of a dedicated limit. The research took more than 20 minutes and went through 311 resources, significantly more than ChatGPT. It compiled a lengthy and detailed document containing multiple sources and proper citations, with inline references wherever links were used, matching the style specified. Both Claude and ChatGPT allow you to integrate external applications into your workflow. With the ChatGPT Plus plan, you can connect multiple sources including GitHub, your calendar, Figma, and various Google applications. However, 
these integrations are somewhat limited. You can use these connectors to ask ChatGPT to schedule events in your calendar, check your availability, and perform similar tasks seamlessly. Similar to ChatGPT, you can also connect multiple applications in Claude. You can manage the connectors, and there's a much wider range available compared to the limited options in ChatGPT. You can add any application you want to connect to, but the cool part about Claude's plan is that it allows you to add your own MCP connections. By specifying the server details, you can connect to any other application not listed by default through these connectors. This brings us to another ChatGPT exclusive feature that comes with the Plus Plan Custom GPTs. These are essentially AI agents of their own, designed and specialized for different types of tasks. You can use GPTs created by the community or create one of your own. You can either use the chat mode to answer the model's questions during the creation process or go to configure mode and use the text interface to manually add your details. File uploads to enhance the knowledge base are limited to the same as projects, 25 uploads per GPT with a maximum size of 512 megabytes. You can choose your recommended model and configure the capabilities. On the right side, you can also test the agent you've created, which will be in accordance with the instructions and generates details for whichever social media platform you've specified. Once you're done configuring and testing, you can go to create and either keep the GPT private for yourself, share it with anyone via a link, or publish it to the GPT store so the entire community can use it. If you're a developer, this section is for you. With ChatGPT+, you get Codex, the AI coding assistant powered by OpenAI model. Codex provides a virtual environment where you can write and execute code and it can be connected to your GitHub account. It creates each task in a separate container, manages and executes that task, and then organizes everything through your connected GitHub repository. Codex runs tasks in isolated cloud sandboxes for enhanced security and performance, ensuring each execution stays independent and conflict-free. It also offers deeper GitHub integration, enabling automated code reviews and pull requests directly within your work flow, so you can build, test, and ship code faster than ever. You can use Codex directly in your terminal or within any IDE you prefer. Similar to ChatGPT, Claude Pro also gives you access to a terminal-based interface where you can use Claude's model directly within your project and ask it to perform various tasks. This interface is called Claude Code, and it has the ability to read, write, and create multiple files and folders. It's a highly powerful tool for coding and building new applications. In fact, it's one of the most powerful features available so far. But if you're a developer who uses model APIs to build your own applications, here's some bad news. Even if you're a subscriber of ChatGPT Plus or Claude Pro, neither plan includes direct API access. You have to build and manage the APIs separately using a pay-as-you-go method for your API usage. Despite the benefits each model's plan offers, the first thing to consider is the difference in their capabilities. While ChatGPT excels in ideation and creative processes, Claude performs better when it comes to long-form content and coding. Which one is truly the right choice for you? The final verdict depends entirely on your use case, on what kind of tasks you plan to do. So that brings us to the end of the video. I hope the features mentioned here helped you decide which plan is right for you. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.